Especially around Slidell, I saw a picture of Slidell High where I went to school, I played many a soccer game over on the football field there, and it was covered in water. So yes, lots of rain, and as you saw, unfortunately, some people dealing with flooding after the rain that fell in Slidell, and you can see over into Mississippi too, Pearl River and Diamond Head, uh, seeing up to 10 to 12 plus inches of rain and these are actual recorded totals. These are not estimates from radar or anything like that. These are real rain uh, totals that fell at different recording stations around the area. Again, looking at what happened for New Orleans itself and the metro area and the South Shore, we got very comparatively manageable rates for sure, about one to two or three inches of rain for most of New Orleans and less than that as you looked farther toward the West, toward Hammond and uh, Homa and places like that only probably less than an inch and a half for a lot of spots like that. Tropical Storm Claudette is just about to move out over the warm waters of the Atlantic. And yes, it's back to a tropical storm after becoming a depression, but it did form up, as I've been saying, over Homa as a tropical storm that happened early Saturday morning. Very rare to get a formation of a tropical cyclone like a depression or tropical storm over land. Usually you need warm water for that, and of course it had it across the Gulf. But just after it moved over land, the National Hurricane Center named it a tropical storm Claudette. This has happened a couple of other times. Tropical storm Julia formed over Florida in 2016. Beryl formed over southeast Louisiana. I'll show you in a second in 1988. And Clara started as a depression that was named a depression over South Carolina. By the way, that barrel storm actually started as a depression on the North Shore, interestingly. Then it crossed to the south, found some warm water here near the mouth of the Mississippi River, and then moved back over land. That's from August 1988. So it has happened before that a system is named over land. However, there were really only those few instances that I found doing a pretty good bit of research over the weekend that tropical depressions or storms formed over land. And I think Claudette is the only one that has formed twice into a tropical storm over land because as it was a depression the past day or so, it now is upgraded to a tropical storm while the center is still over land. And that was because they found a buoy off the Carolina coast that had tropical storm sustained force winds. Uh, but in any case, it became a tropical storm two different times, one over Louisiana, one over North Carolina, and both of those, of course, over land. So very unusual to have that happen.